Today I want to take a moment to talk to you about SNOW, which is an acronym that means stuff no one wants. And stuff is actually a different word that begins with S, but I'm trying to keep things clean here. So we're just going to say stuff no one wants. Now, one of the big things is everybody's like, well, how do I get in the snow business? You might see all of these big trucks with snow plows They're like, oh, well, I need at least a three quarter ton truck with a 10 foot plow and wide outs. It's a V plow and a back plow and a V salter in order to get started in snow removal. No, you don't. You don't need any of that at all. You don't even need a truck. I know it's surprising, isn't it? What you need is transportation to get around and a snow shovel. That's it. If you want to offer salt, you might need something to spread the salt with. But seriously, you got hands. You just got to buy the salt. So you don't really need a lot. Now, you're not going to get big commercial properties. You're going to have to deal with residential properties. But all you really need is a snow shovel and a way to get around town. And you just put up those little free ads when it snows hit up the garage sale sites on Facebook or whatever when it snows when you're expecting a big storm and people will call you and your phone will ring off the hook um, it'll be nuts you'll have to turn business down now if you want to get a little fancier you can get a snowblower but if you're going to put it in the back of your SUV or a trunk you might want to lay a tarp or something down because it will the snow will melt off of it and cause a mess. So figure out some kind of bathtub system in your trunk or the back of your SUV or something like that. What I would do, um, I actually had a single stage snow blower that I started with and a uh, back rack, one of those back racks that fit in the hitch receiver. So if you have a hitch receiver, it might be worth investing the 60, 70 bucks. I think they're up to 100 now because of freaking everything's going up in price but used to be able to get it for like 50 bucks and slip them in there in the hitch receiver and throw your snow blower on that strap it down go from property to property you probably want to start with a single stage snow blower double stages you need something with a ramp on it um i just find double stages to be very cumbersome or two stage snow blowers to be very cumbersome when trying to use a snowblower as your snow removal item uh, and the single stages work so much better with that wet heavy snow than the two stages with do believe it or not because of those rubber paddles they really clean the snow better you'll be constantly trying to uh, unclog a two stage so i don't recommend two stage snow blowers at all especially if you're dealing with a pickup truck because then you don't even need a back rack you just take the single stage throw it in the bed bam you're done it could be a small pickup you could do it with a ford ranger or an s10 or uh dodge dakota you know i started with one of those back racks and my suv and i actually used to carry two snow blowers around with me i used to keep one inside for emergencies and one outside to actually use and uh if you can't afford a snowblower, I did one of the things I did. My first snowblower was given to me for free. Uh, I was practically brand new. I rattled it to pieces uh, within a first within those first few seasons. Then um, I picked up one doing some what I refer to as curbside shopping. A lot of you are probably familiar with it. Some people like to refer it as dumpster diving. Other people like to refer it as garbage picking. Whatever. I prefer curbside shopping. And if you don't know how to fix one, there's plenty of YouTube videos how to do it. You could probably just look into my channel, see some things in the past. I will tell you 90% of the time, it's the carburetor needs to be cleaned. And that's pretty much it. You might have some worn out paddles or something like that on it. There are other things. If it's a two-stage, you might have some broken shear pins or something like that. Um, but typically, it's it, the carburetor needs to be cleaned. Uh, if you, I'm sure you can find If you can't find, if you go into YouTube or whatever and put in snow blower carburetor cleaning and can't find anything, put in lawnmower carburetor cleaning, they're the same. And don't forget to change those air filters on that uh, snow blower now. That that's a little joke in case you didn't know. Some those of you who understand snow blowers get it and those of you who don't, you'll probably figure it out pretty soon. But <clears throat> don't forget to change those air filters on those snow blowers. 
uh, I mean, and, and it's so you can start up with little to no money. And you just put up those free ads when it snows. There's, there is a couple things to note. Number one is make sure you're charging a premium. If you look up prices from last year that people have posted or whatever, those are not valid anymore. Um, everything's going to be going up in price. You can charge more and you can charge a premium. And the other thing is, is have an upcharge for like snow over six inches. Have an upcharge for it. That's where you're going to really make your money. Uh, and my, my first really crazy snowstorm... I had booked something like 26 driveways. I planned them at a half an hour apiece. That was way too little of a time. And I was going off of a smaller snowstorm. You want to probably leave yourself at least an hour in between each account. And the reason why is and that includes traveling time. So it's one hour between that house and then reserve another hour for the next house and you want to focus on route density you don't need a huge area <clears throat> when I deal with landscaping the area I'll serve is like this when I deal with mowing the area I serve is like this when I deal with snow removal the area I'll serve is like this I mean you don't need you'll find a lot of volume really quickly especially in a big storm to really get that snow removal business going uh, you don't need to be going all over the place because it's stuff no one wants and no one wants to get rid of it. So there's a lot of money made to be made in getting rid of it. So, um, yeah, you don't need a lot of equipment. Uh, me personally, I absolutely love snow. Um, love, 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 love snow. So I got started in snow. I've been doing it way longer than well maybe not way longer but about i think it, uh, three four years longer than i've been doing mowing i did mowing so i can keep doing snow that's basically why i started mowing to have something to do over the summer so i can keep doing snow i absolutely love doing snow i love the high stress that comes with it uh one of the things is i've done a few snow plow videos and this past season was really kind of good for it because we didn't have any really big storms but it gets really tricky to do those things when we have a really big storm because you got to move, 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 move. I can't spend a lot of time setting up cameras and things like that because I'm losing money while I'm setting those cameras up. But when you're starting off with a snow shovel or de definitely with a snow blower, you probably want to leave at least an hour for each account. Here's the thing. A customer is not going to be upset if you schedule them and you show up early. If you show up late, they get a little upset. And when you're first starting off, you're going to want that extra time because it's going to take you longer until you figure out the equipment and how everything works and, you know, that kind of... And then you can just bzz, straight through once you actually figure it out. Remember my first year as a, with the snow plow? You would think a snow plow would have made things a lot faster. Well, it actually didn't. Um, that first year with my snow plow... It, it took me a long time because I had to figure out how to work the thing and how to operate the thing. I had no clue. I've never used a snowplow before. And it was taking me just as long to, with the snowplow as it was with a snowblower. And I'm like, I spent $6,000 on this thing. And it's not making me any extra money. But I had to learn the equipment. Now, this past year that I learned the equipment, I was flying through everything. So, yeah, it's it's convenient having a snow plow it's nice having a snow plow you can make more money having a snow plow but you can make a lot of money with a snow blower or with a, even with a snow shovel you can make you can start making money i mean i i would be making anywhere between um 500 to 800 on a storm with a snow blower that's just one storm and what's also nice about snow blowers over a snow plow is a snow plow you kind of lose the I can't do it at 2 a.m. With a snowblower, you can sit there and like, well, you know, we, I can't service your property at 2 a.m. because I don't want to wake your neighbors. So you're going to have to wait. Uh, but yeah, the biggest issues that I find out with snow removal is the customers. Customers don't understand they're not your only customer. And everybody wants to be put on the list first. Well, that can't happen all the time. And 
you will deal with you yeah, and I see this a lot on in Facebook groups and things like that. You see people complaining, Oh, I called such an, I called 30 companies and nobody answered and nobody responded back to me. I'm like, yeah, the reason why is because the guy answering the phone is plowing snow or you know, shoveling snow or doing something with the snow. And if he stops to pick up that phone, he's gonna start losing money because he's taking time out to take that call and he may already be booked up. So one of the things that I like to try to do before a big event is I can actually I have I um, have an app that I can set up that actually my business line goes to, and I can set up uh, voicemail messages. So I will set up a voicemail message that says, "We are currently booked up for the snow event on XXX date." So when people call, they hear that they go click, and I don't even have to bother answering my phone. They get the information they're looking for. And I don't have to worry about answering my phone at all. Uh, so it works out very well in that front. So, and if you're wondering how do I get a, se a second phone number, uh, I recommend downloading Google Voice and setting up a Google Voice phone number. And that's how you get a separate phone number from your actual cell phone or whatever phone number you're we're going to use. So... If that's if you're just starting, you know, you're probably going to need to, that information as well. But yeah, it, there's a lot of money to be made in snow, and I, I wish I could make even enough money to snow in snow to sit there and say I don't even have to mow. You know, I just do the landscape work, do the snow removal, not even mess with mowing, take the summer off, you know, travel, do whatever. But I gotta, I, I I'm still not there yet, so. But yeah, there's. A, I mean, you're gonna hear a lot of people talk about how much money there is in snow, and they're gonna talk about oh, and you put a plow on the truck and blah 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 blah. blah. You don't need to do all that. Just like you know, you could be chucking a truck with get your push mower out. You could be Steve in a snowblower, and uh, just haul around your snowblower and snowblow driveways. Like I said, you're gonna be dealing with residential customers, but. It's a quick, easy way into that business. You can start making money, start investing into either nicer snowblowers, nicer shovels, maybe even make enough money with your snowblower to uh, purchase a truck one season, and then the next season you can purchase the, you can make enough money to purchase the plow, and uh, you know just, and you keep hustling. You know it's just a growth aspect of things. I didn't have a plow the first season I did snow. I've been doing snow longer than I've been doing mowing. Um, I started mowing, in, like I said, in 2019, I did my, I started mowing. I was actually, I, I didn't start mowing then, but I, that's when I started as a business mowing. Um, I had, I think, three or four years before that doing snow removal with a snow, snow blower. So it is possible to do it. Again, you're not going to get any huge commercial customers. You're going to be dealing with strictly residential but build that business, build that income, build that money, and invest, reinvest it into that equipment, and then you can start working at getting those big commercial accounts. You know, if you have any questions or anything you want me to address in a video, or um, you can kind of put it in the comments. I love talking about snow. I just would like to know what, what interests you guys about the snow removal business, so I, I can put up the, the proper videos to get that done. You know, whether you're just starting off or whether you've been in it for a while, because I've been in it for a while. I, I, I love it. I'm built for this. Yeah, there's a, such a thing as you're not sleeping for 24 hours straight in a snow event. That happens. But then what happens too is you're sitting, you're sitting, and you're sitting, and you're sitting, waiting for it to happen. And then that big snow event happens, and then you're up for 24 hours, and you make it a day off. Or maybe two, and then another big snowstorm happened. It's 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 just exciting. I love this the high stress, the adrenaline rush that comes with snow. So if there's anything you guys want to know about the snow business, either put you know put a question in the comments, or you can send me an email, something like that. I would like to do another video on snow with your guys' questions. How do you tackle this? You know how, you know what, what do I need to know? To either get started with zero to no money or maybe you're already in the business and you have some questions. Maybe it's your first year with a plow and you're like, how do I do this and that and the other thing? Let me know. Talk to me. Um, 
post your questions in the comments or email them to me. That's in the description, my in my description. So let me know what you want to hear about that stuff no one wants. Because, well, there's a lot of money in it to get rid of it. I'll tell you, there's a lot of people, not enough people doing it. There are a lot of, so many people who sit there and won't touch snow, but they'll mow grass all day long. And I'll be honest with you, I get it, but at the same time, I don't get it. You know, if you're cutting grass as a business, you got to make money. I mean, you're, you're leaving money on the table if you're not doing snow and you're in that climate that, to get it. So, I mean, ask away. I want to talk about this. I love snow. When most people see the light, fluffy snowflakes, they're either like, ugh, it's snowing. Or they're like, ooh, look at how pretty. It's white and snowing. Or me, I look at it and go, cha-ching. I see dollar signs falling from the sky. So that's how I, that's the only reason why I love snow. Otherwise, I'd been like, ugh, it's snowing. But that's the reason why I love snow, because I see dollar signs falling from the sky. So ask your questions. I, I mean, it's definitely a market. This market, there's more room in this market, in the snow market, in your area than there is in the mowing market. And I'm going to tell you, you will see oddball guys out there um, doing these things. You know, handymen that have a plow on their truck, that do snow removal, plumbers, you know, all of these other guys in trades. They don't really, if it's snowing, they're not really making a lot of money. They're, that's what they're doing. They're, they're pushing snow. So you'll see all these other guys that would do other businesses doing snow. But there's so much of a market for it. There's so much a demand for it that they can always use more. This is even more so than mowing. You know, because and it just has to deal with how it's set up because everything has to happen instantaneously. And everybody needs their guy or gal or whatever they need that right away it has to happen right away so there's just so much money available in there and i want to give you guys the information to get you guys started so please leave questions in the comments or send me emails let me know what you want to know about snow because we if you want to get into snow now's the time to think about snow because i just uh I'm passionate about snow and I want to talk to you about snow. So I will see you next time.